The brother here named Mark Golden. Yeah, man, I know everybody is supposed to know him by now. He is the opposition leader. And if, if I did me alone in Jamaica vote, he would have been opposition leader for a very long time. Because this man up to this point have not behaved in the public as a decent person. You see, the PMP really not like women, you know. We know that long time. PJ never have a woman, never seen with a woman yet. Push a company scene and then start this up them realize that she popular so them leave her alone. And then you have Mark Golden right hand, lieutenant, with her prison now for kill him wife, Jol Jolie and Silvera. Um him kill him wife, you don't even hear the PMP woman movement say nothing. Mark Golden, this the Prime Minister wife yesterday. You know, hear the PMP woman movement. You see them jump out now because they realize say, a whole heap of backlash out there, a whole heap of discussion out there, and all of it is not on their side. You know, so Jail and Sylvia are killing wife. Mark Golden still have him on committee and president of this and that day in the party because them just wait for nine days pass and they blow off and thing. You know, for him come back. You know, these people have never have to account for anything. They come from uptown. The real problem, you know, them have, you know, is the little youth from Spanish town, you know. That's the real problem. But I want to tell you, Jamaican, say, if you don't know what and pay attention, this thing will get worse because Mark Golden keep pushing the envelope and realize you don't say nothing. And you know, all right with it. So it will get worse. A Trump, a Jamaican Trump this year. Trump saying he can go to Times Square and kill somebody and nobody not do him nothing. The group of many are in the PMP. Them rotten. Them behave like some little wimps. Them bitter and them just want cuss woman, class woman. Right now, this them is the Prime Minister wife. But here we are. At the end of the day, Mark Golden, you need to answer to some questions. For your wife, only pan two little pictures here and there. We see her. Why you hide her? Mark Golden, you have a son who is 30 year old or 31, but your wife about 44 or 45. Mark Golden, you are 58, you are almost 60. You know, all them kind of numbers they work out. Why is it you're hiding your wife and attack the Prime Minister's wife? Why is it that you don't have nothing to offer to the country? That low Mark Golden, very low. In politics, as in life, there has to be a baseline that you do not cross. A minimum standard of ethics, respect, decency, and honor. Today, the leader of the opposition sang below that line, demonstrating that he will say and do anything to distract the public, the people of Jamaica, from the true issue at hand, which is to articulate, to lay before the people of Jamaica a clear vision supported by a definite plan for the betterment of this Jamaica land we love. Golden has repeatedly taken to personal attacks instead of advancing real and practical ways to move the country forward. Today, Mark Golden had an opportunity to tell Jamaica how he would fund public statements and proposals that he has repeatedly made about the economic future of Jamaicans. Having created this anticipation and being unable to meet the expectation of the Jamaican people, his strategy at what was almost the very end of his speech was to attack the Speaker of the House of Representatives, to attack the Speaker of the Honorable House of Representatives in the person of Juliet Holness, Member of Parliament, who was nominated unopposed and seconded by the opposition in her ascension to the role of speaker. Mark Golden has repeatedly demonstrated that he will say anything for political gain. He has flip-flopped on a number of issues when they no longer suit his political agenda and his blind pursuit for power to which he feels entitled without working for it. We saw this when his party supported what was accepted to be the vexed issue of public sector wage increases to include that of parliamentarians. And we saw it again today when his party supported Juliet Holness for the position of speaker only to withdraw that support when it no longer suited him. The Prime Minister has dedicated his life to the service of the Jamaican people. He has endured countless attacks on his character to which he has never really responded as he remains focused on delivering a better way of life for his country that he clearly loves so dearly. Juliet Holness 
joined him in politics and public service out of a sense of duty to our country and has given her heart and soul to the people of Jamaica. We are disappointed that Mark Golden would use her to score cheap political points. Today, the attack on the House Speaker demonstrates a breach of every convention in the Commonwealth, every convention in our parliamentary system that governs how the office of the Speaker is to be respected and approached by members of Parliament. And further, it does not align to the spirit of us supporting our women when they, on their own merit, rise to position of influence in the society. Jamaica deserves an opposition with some semblance of honor and whose word means something. Mark Golden has shown us today that he has neither honor or plans for this Jamaica. And the minister responsible for gender. I strongly object to the statement in the House of Representatives today by the leader of the opposition in which he questions the election of the Honorable Speaker on the basis that she is the spouse of the head of government. The leader of the opposition has questioned a legitimate election of the Speaker that was undertaken by the entire House, not by some members of the House. By his statement, the leader of the opposition has brought the House into disrepute. The standing orders provide the qualification and process for a member of parliament to be elected to the office of the speaker. It outlines that a member has to be willing to serve in the role and must not be a minister or a parliamentary secretary. When the chair became vacant, in keeping with the standing orders, the member for St. Andrew East Rural was proposed by the member for St. Andrew Northeastern. Madam Clark, I beg to nominate the member of parliament for the great constituency of East Rural St. Andrew, Mrs. Juliet Holness, to become the Speaker of the House. And seconded by the member for Kingston East and Port Royal. Madam Clark, I beg to second the motion. There was no objection. No other person was proposed, and the member from St. Andrew East Rural, the most honorable Gillette Holness, was duly elected speaker. There was absolutely no objection to the speaker's election. So it is disturbing and hypocritical that after more than five months after her election, that the leader of the opposition should so spectacularly question the election of this eminently qualified woman. Like all members of the House who are not ministers or parliamentary secretaries, she has the right to be considered for the post of Speaker. The two-term member of Parliament, who also served as Deputy Speaker, was elected to the Speaker's chair on merit, not because of her spouse. It is wrong and it harks back to a bygone age before women's empowerment to say that she or any woman should be disqualified for any post because of the job of her spouse. The speaker was duly elected by the House and is a competent and capable speaker. I strongly object to the position that the leader of our... So there we had two statements from Tom Tavares, Finson, President of the Senate, and Babsy Grange, um, the Minister of Gender and Women's Affairs. You know, after the wife of the Prime Minister was elected in her own right, a two-term member of Parliament, and she was duly elect nominated and elected to the seat of Speaker after she was a deputy, the PMP supported her um, nomination and the vote. So now, they are on no solid ground in regards to